they told me I had to have a heart operation and I shouldn't put it off. I should have it right then. But I thought maybe there was another way because of my age. I would have thought maybe this medicine that will get me back going again. But it, in the end, I knew it wasn't going to work. They did consider having the open heart with Dr. Uh, D. Simone. She was uh, quite elderly, as you uh, know, and uh, the surgeons assessed her and felt that her risk of surgery was excessive and essentially decided that she was inoperable. At that age, I don't think she would have even been able to recuperate from that. They took all kinds of tests, and they found out I had good veins, and they were clean veins, they said, and wide veins. And there was a new procedure that they could do where they wouldn't have to cut the chest to take care of the heart. The benefit is obviously that the patient will get a, a valve replacement and that the uh, stenotic or blocked valve will then be uh, uh, replaced and the, and the uh, blockage relieved. Uh, that generally results in uh, improvement in symptoms. There's less shortness of breath. Uh, if patients are having uh, angina or pressure discomfort in their chest when they exert themselves as a result of that blocked valve, that's usually improved. I just thought it over and decided first I thought I shouldn't do that. And then I got to thinking, I didn't want to leave the family, for one thing, and so I just decided to let them do it. She went into the operation, and of course there was anticipation, sitting there and waiting. Her recovery was actually quite rapid. She's an amazing uh, woman. I believe that she was off the ventilator that evening and uh, out of the intensive care unit the following day. From the moment I had the, the operation, of course, I was told that I have to give that valve time to set, but they said it went right to work the minute they put it in, and that was good enough for me. I wasn't having hard pain. Steadily, she's gotten a little more feisty, and uh, so little by little, she's doing a lot more than she was doing before. Her walking, while she used to it may have been lack of uh, oxygen and so forth. She was not steady on her feet. Now we walk in the evening so that she's getting her legs back in good shape. But I anticipate uh, she'll be around telling me what to do for a few more years. <laughs> I don't mean that meanly, but I mean she is the mother and I am still the little one. <laughs> yeah.